What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Meg and I do put out videos a couple times a week so if you don't want to miss out on my content, hit the subscribe button and that way any new videos I put out will show up in your subscription feed. So today I have sort of a end of summer is what it would be now clothing haul to show you guys. Um, some things I'm going to try on so you can get a better idea of what they look like and some things I'm just not going to try on. Um, just because you can see what they kind of look like, but this is all stuff that I've accumulated over the summer So I figured now is a great time to share with you what I got Even though I just had tacos for dinner, so I have a total food baby <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. The first thing I have to share this because I have to brag It is a 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers championship shirt and I am so happy to have this. Um, I'm not living in Ohio anymore. I moved in January and my mom was really nice and sent this to me and she also sent one to Joe and I'm so happy to wear this around. It's just so exciting. If you're from Cleveland, you already know like why this is just such an amazing thing. Um, if you're not from Cleveland, I feel like a lot of people not from Ohio or not from Cleveland don't necessarily understand or get what the huge hype is or like what the big deal is. Basically, Cleveland was in a championship drought for 52 years, and the Cavs finally broke the Cleveland curse. Now people will have to find something else to make fun of us for. Although that's not very hard to do, it's very easy, I think, to make fun of Cleveland, apparently. Anyways, moving along, the first thing that I have to show you guys is this beautiful dress. I got this from Shop Hopes. If you guys aren't familiar, Shop Hopes is this amazing like online boutique. And they do have um, a store that's down south, it's in Georgia, is where they're based out of. But anyways, they basically sell random brands and this dress is from the brand Gilly. And I just thought this was perfect. It ties around the back and I love the way that this fits because it doesn't it doesn't cling to your stomach area, it just flows nicely. So if you're someone that's a little subconscious about that area, or if you don't want to worry about being bloated or wearing having to wear Sphinx with your dress, this is just a perfect kind of option for you. It's super comfortable. I got this in a medium and it's almost too big, so that's kind of the downside when shopping online is that you never know how sizes are going to fit especially if it's a boutique and they have different brands it can be kind of tricky on how to get your size but yeah i actually got this for my friend's wedding i'm going home this weekend for so uh there may be a little lack of videos this week because of that um i know my parents inter internet is absolutely dreadful because they live in the middle of nowhere so I don't know if I'll really be able to upload anything while I'm back home visiting for a little bit but yeah I thought that this dress would be absolutely perfect for her wedding I do have another item from shop hopes but it's like further down in the pile so for right now we're just gonna jump to rock and Republic and if you're not familiar they're a brand that is featured at Kohl's and I really do like the brand because it's something that's edgier I feel like it's really hard to find things that aren't super girly and super frilly at Kohl's. I feel like that's mostly what their clothing caters to. So I can appreciate that they do have a section in the women's that's a little on the edgier side. So this is a top I'm sure you guys have seen a number of times. This is my favorite top that I own right now. It's just a basic muscle tee. It's like slightly distressed and it's so comfortable. And obviously you guys see me wearing this in every video like I'm not sure if you guys think that I film multiple videos in one day but I just pretty much wear this shirt on a daily basis so this next shirt really isn't exactly in my taste but my mom was the one that supplied me these clothes from Kohl's so it was kind of uh, what she said went but she got this for me uh, for work because it's something that's just nice and airy which is great for Arizona when you have to be in a work environment and it's 115 degrees outside and yeah you definitely want to find ways to stay cool so this is like a sheer t-shirt so you definitely need to wear something under it and it just has a nice silver design on the sides pretty basic now this next piece I absolutely love. I can't wait for it to cool down because I just wish I could wear this every day and I'm gonna be living in this. And it is this camo button down top from Rockin' Republic. I think that it's amazing. It's super soft, super comfortable. And I'm seriously gonna be wearing this like every day with leggings and combat boots once I'm able to. I would have loved to get a camo jacket, 
but I don't think that that's really realistic here in Arizona because even in the winter it doesn't get that cold so this can serve as a jacket for me so very excited this next dress I'm not sure if I'm even gonna show you guys wearing because it shrunk and I only washed it once and I wash all my clothes on cold and I dry it on delicate so I can't believe that it like shrunk as much as it did but anyways, this is another item that I purchased offline, and this is from Venus.com. It's just this really nice tie-dye looking dress, and it drapes down in the front. It's super cute. The length just definitely shrunk, and then it also has a really nice deep V-neck in the back. Um, I really like this a lot. I saw Trisha Paytas wearing this, and I figured out where she got it, and I bought it right away because it looks so cute on her, and I love it. But this is something that you would definitely need to wear shorts with underneath. I mean, I wear shorts underneath all my dresses and skirts anyways because I'm paranoid like that, but for sure because this thing is just so short now. This next dress is another dress that I saw Trisha wearing and I know she got it at Target. It's so pretty and so cute. just has such a nice floral design on it. I love the pink color and then it just kind of flares out. So again, like it's not form fitting. You're not going to feel super self-conscious wearing this. It has a nice little keyhole in the back. And I got this in a size up because when I tried on the medium, it was super constricting in my chest area. I do have a larger chest, so that is also the difficult thing when trying clothes on. And definitely with that last dress I showed you, it you know, if you have bigger boobs, it definitely takes a couple inches off your dresses. If you have big boobs, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I just sized up in this and it's super roomy, super comfortable, and yeah, I really like it a lot. So the next item is also Rock in Republic, and I'm sorry about the order of this. I thought I had them like organized better when I brought them over here. But this is a vest from them. It's just a nice tie-dye. It's tuxedo style, so it's longer in the back. And I just love this. I sized up so it was more roomy and more comfortable and more loose fitting. Now this next item is a work in progress and I'm so excited for it. I'm trying to decide like what other things I want and where I would want to put them. But basically I went on to Poshmark.com and searched high and low for a jean jacket. And I didn't want a cropped one, I wanted one that goes down to your waist. This one is fine for what it is. Um, it was about the longest in length that I could find. I wouldn't mind one that was actually a little bit longer and I definitely wanted it to be oversized. And if you guys are looking for pieces like this, you can find it so cheap on Poshmark. I think this was like $6 that I paid for this, which is an amazing price. And then my favorite part are the patches that I got. I got them off Etsy, and I will try to find the stores and direct links, and I will have it in the description bar. But I have freaking, oh my god. I love this patch. <laughs> it's so different and unique. Um, a couple months ago, Krista Pukas uploaded a video where she had a jean jacket and she got a patch that was very similar to this. So yeah, I decided to go with this one. Even though I do like the one that she has, I just thought that this one was a little more unique looking and I like the colors of it. It's amazing. However, sewing it on was a pain. Like I had to have my aunt help me because she had to hand stitch all of this. So it was kind of crazy getting it on there. And then I also got a little sugar skull on the jacket as well. The next few items are going to be from JCPenney. And this top is from Stylus. And I just love this nice sort of like teal, almost robin egg blue color. And I love the little cutouts on the sleeve and then down the front. This is an extremely boxy looking top. So if you have like a curvier body or for like me, I have an hourglass figure, this isn't going to do you any favors on. So be prepared for that. But I just really love the color and like the little cutout designs. I thought it'd be really cute for work. So next is from St. John's Bay. This is something that my mom got me because I told her that I just like wearing basic v-neck t-shirts. You don't have to think about it. You can wear them with anything. You can wear them for work. You can wear them casual. So she picked me out this coral color and I really do enjoy the color of it. And I can appreciate the thicker material so nothing is going to be see-through with this top. 
So now I'm going to bounce back to Shop Hopes because this is the last top item I have to show you guys. Although I'm sure on shorter people this could easily be a dress, but this is from the brand Kate. And I got this in a medium, and this is what I was talking about, saying like you never know what you're going to get because the dress that I got in a medium was like almost too big. And this is like, oh my god, this is so small for a medium. I don't think I can try this on for you guys right now. Um... When I first got it, I was just wearing a bralette when I tried it on, and it was like squeezing the crap out of my boobs, and it was just so super tight around there. I am about to get my period, so I'm super bloated, and my boobs also tend to swell up before I get my period, so there's like no way I'm going to be able to like fit my chest in this dress, or this top to try on for you guys. But anyways, I just thought it was super cute and pretty, it's just a little lace and it has a shift dress under it and then it just like forms an EU at the bottom. I got this for work and I thought it would be super cute to pair with leggings. Now it is time to move on to the bottoms. So the next couple items are going to be JCPenney again and these shorts are from Stylus and I just thought that they were super cute. They just have a nice little diamond pattern on them. They're dressy. They're too short to wear to any sort of like business casual or business professional job but I just thought that they would be nice. It's kind of nice to have a dress short option to wear out if you were to go somewhere if you didn't feel like wearing a skirt or a dress. Plus these would also look super cute in the winter with like a sheer black tight. This next skirt is again something that my mom got for me. It's not anything that I would ever wear for myself. This is from the brand Worthington and it's kind of like a snake skin print but it's just a maxi skirt and she thought it would be nice for me to wear. She thought maybe I could try wearing it for work or just like if I'm going out or something like that just to pair with a simple black top. So that is what it looks like. And then I got two pairs of athletic shorts. These are from the brand Exertion. And I really like these. I just wish that they had pockets. I like hate that chub rub. I hate my thighs touching together. So I like how these go in more. And like they're longer in the thigh area. So your thighs don't rub together. And they're just super light and comfortable. And then the next pair of athletic shorts is from uh, Kohl's. And these are Fila shorts. Same idea, I just really like the little sort of rainbow trim around them. Alright, we are almost done here. The last two items I have are from American Eagle and it is a pair of shorts and jeans. Alright, so these shorts are kind of like Daisy Duke shorts. I love them. They are their high rise festival style shorts. I love the distressed denim and then I also love the little crochet pockets that peek through it's so cute and then there's also a little crochet pocket in the back that peeks through as well I've pretty much been living in these shorts all summer and then I have a pair of jeans for you guys and these are their cropped leggings and again these are distressed and then like I just wash them so they're not folded but you can cuff them at the bottom and they're super cute um, again, living in Arizona, you don't really need to worry about winter clothes, so this is an item that you can wear year-round, and in the winter, even though it's cropped, it's not going to be something that's like too cold to wear, or it would be unbearable wearing these during the winter. One thing that I absolutely love about American Eagle jeans is how stretchy their cropped jeggings are, and um, they're honestly the only jeans that seem to fit me right. Like I just feel like they're so super comfortable to wear and I just love wearing their jeans. Alright and that wraps it up for this clothing haul. I feel like I'm out of breath over here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!